Hi, it's Becky with A Better Way to Homeschool with a question for you. How comfortable are you talking about sex and intimacy with your children? Well, before you turn off this video, let me let you know that this video does not contain any sexually explicit images. Instead, they're just very simple designs. But I wanted to share with you a product that I've developed over the last 15 years that has enabled us to be able to focus on sexual purity and waiting until you are joined together with your husband and wife with our children rather than focusing on uh, what other people would call the birds and the bees or the facts of life. Um, for us as a Bible believing family it's more important for our children to trust the Lord and to be united in purity with their future spouse. So without further ado you can find everything that I'm going to show you on the link below. Uh, it will be on sale for a few days and then it will be raised up to its normal price. Um, in that download you'll get all of the puzzle pieces that you're about to see as well as a sample script to help guide you in talking to your own child. Just know that they need to hear your voice. They don't need to hear mine. And the words aren't as important as focusing on purity and letting them know that they can talk to you if they have any questions. So the first piece in the template and I'm going to move kind of fast because it's all explained in the download, is a blank puzzle template, which is explained in detail in the download. This is blank because you might not like my hand-drawn designs that my kids and I came up with, so you and your children would design your own puzzle piece. And here's a couple examples. Here is an archery themed that my boys and I came up with. Uh, we're an archery family, so that really applied to us and here's one colored so that you can see before it's cut out and mounted. Then this is the template that I'm going to use to talk with you today. Uh, I just thought it would be fun since I don't have daughters to actually use a feminine something because I love flowers. Um, the complete puzzle not only completes a design but also has two Bible verses on there for you to read and to study and then to present with your child. This puzzle piece right here actually will fit into the puzzle but will not complete the design. And then the puzzle pieces on the bottom do not fit the puzzle and do not match the design. So once you download your product, what do you do with it? Well, you take the time to design your own colors or you design your own pattern with your son or daughter. In this case, we're going to pretend that I have a daughter. And you're going to color it and cut it out and let them know that you had something really important that you'd like to talk with them and that you need this puzzle in order to do that. If your child is against coloring and cutting, take the time to make this ahead of time for them. The purpose of the, the top puzzle piece that completes the design, and it's all spelled out in the script, is to illustrate that when your child has a relationship with the Lord and spends their time being knit together with Christ, and that is their focus. And they wait until they are joined together in marriage with their future husband. Again, remember I'm pretending I have a daughter. So here's my pretend daughter united with God. And she waited until her husband. Then the script will guide you to talk with her. Or if you use the boy puzzle to talk with your son. What do you see? When you complete this puzzle, not only does the design work but the letters line up and it makes a complete puzzle. And this represents a daughter being glued together with Christ and waiting for her husband until her marriage, her married night, her wedding night to give herself over to him sexually. And that your whole guy, your whole point up until marriage is to maintain pure by focusing on your walk with the Lord. Now the other puzzle pieces, also explained in the script, the first puzzle piece that you would introduce is the one that would be just off to the right of the puzzle. It will fit when you join this together, join these puzzle pieces together. So the puzzle pieces fit, but what do you notice? That's right, the picture doesn't work and the words are messed up. So what does this represent? This represents a daughter that only has sex or only makes love with her future husband and they don't wait until they're married and it just doesn't make the same picture as if they waited to be intimate before they were married 
And it's a very good visual to show that once you've made that choice, you can't go back. You can't bring this puzzle piece back into it and have the perfect picture that God originally intended for you once you made the decision to not wait. So again, this is all illustrated in the script or written out in the script, but really this is, this is my heart for my pretend daughter. And I've gone through this, we've gone through this with all of our sons. This is our heart for our sons, that they would be united with Christ and that they would be waiting for their future bride. Now, what about these other two funky pieces? Well, what happens if you don't have God and you decide, well, it's not important to wait until you're married. And in fact, it's not important at all for you to only be intimate with one person. Because look, you can force the pieces together to kind of make them work, right? Well, yeah, maybe physically you can get the pieces to go together. But does that look like a good picture? No, there's holes and it's broken. It doesn't work. Well, maybe it's just that piece that didn't work. Maybe it was this partner that that your child needed to be united with. Well, that doesn't work, does it? Okay, so maybe you need to just flip the pieces around. Can you see how you can use this illustration to show your child that, well, maybe they just need multiple partners, not at the same time, but maybe they just need multiple partners, and maybe that works. What do you think? Well, the problem with this that we've explained to our sons is that the more people you are intimate with, the more you damage the original puzzle pieces. Sometimes pieces break off. Sometimes pieces get torn. And when it does come time for them to decide that, oh, here's that future spouse, and now they try to join together, not only does the picture not totally work, but there's holes and there's scars that never go away. So I, I've worked on this um, for a few years now, and while it's not perfected, um, it's extremely important to me to be able to share this with you um, so that you have a way to focus on purity with your children. It's not antiquated. It's not old-fashioned for your child to wait until they're married to give themselves to their future husband or their future bride. It is what God intended in the, his original design. And it's my heart that you would be able to share that with your child in a way that then opens up channels of communication in the future. Focus on purity. Focus on a relationship with God. Focus on waiting until the perfect time until their wedding night. Focus on the fact that the state of their heart, it's not about how much they can get away with. It's a matter of, of waiting for this, this, this treasure that God has for them and keeping the, the doors of communication open so that they would know that they can always come to you if they have questions or concerns. So again, this is Becky with The Better Way to Homeschool. You can find the links to um, these puzzle pieces and the script down below. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'd love to hear um, if you have any comments or if anything has worked for you when you talk with your children. Have, have a wonderful day.